weather with Damian Lotus. We finally thought out across the state of Oklahoma, but I'm tracking more rainfall as we head into the weekend. Let's get you ready for the latest here on your Tuesday afternoon. Here's a time lapse from our climb up camera and over the last hour you can see that low gray cloud deck is slowly lifting. That dense fog I was tracking earlier is slowly starting to clear and our 50 pin camera the time lapse is telling the same story. At the beginning of the time lapse we had some really low clouds and lots of fog here across the metro. Now that is slowly starting to lift here for Oklahoma City. But as you look at our statewide view of our storm scanner, I'm still tracking some showers and rain developing here off to the south. The storm motion for today will be from south to north, so all this rainfall you're seeing right here is going to lift. So we're going to see some pretty good rain chances as we head into this afternoon. So that afternoon drive, it's going to be a wet one here for us. Visibility numbers are still pretty low here across the state. Dense fog continuing across Oklahoma as we head throughout the rest of this afternoon. Temperature wise right now, we are in the mid to upper 30s. Pretty mild right now, 39 currently at Will Rogers World Airport. Across the rest of the state, I'm tracking a mix of 30s. 40s. We'll even see some 50s across eastern parts of the state. Not much of a wind chill here for Oklahoma City, but across western Oklahoma, we do have some wind chills in the 20s, so it is still winter. It still feels like that for some parts of the state. As we head into this afternoon, I'm tracking cloudy skies. Best chance of rain will be during the late afternoon, early evening hours. Highs today will make it into the 40s. Wind chills will stay right around freezing here as we head throughout this afternoon and this evening. Future track radar is showing that all that rainfall I'm tracking across the Red River right now will lift across the I-40 corridor right around that afternoon drive time. So expect a wet commute as you're making that drive home this afternoon. By the evening hours, 10 o'clock, we'll still see some scattered showers here across central Oklahoma with most of the heavier rainfall across northwestern parts of the state. And that'll last here as we head throughout the evening and overnight hours. But highs today across the state will be a mix of 30s, 40s, even some 50s and 60s across eastern and southeastern parts of the state. Oklahoma City will make it up to 40. Looks like we'll tap 41 today for Kingfisher and Okarchi. Up to the northeast, we'll see temperatures in the low 40s, including 41 today for both Edmond and Guthrie, 42 today for Chandler and Davenport. Off to our south and to our southeast, looks like we'll tap 42 for Moore, 42 in Norman. Looks like we'll get up to 43 today for Shawnee. And then off to our southwest, we'll see temperatures low 40s primarily, 42 for Newcastle, 42 in Chickasha. Looks like we'll get up to 41 today, the afternoon high in Fort Cobb. As we head into tonight, some lingering rainfall here for your early Wednesday, but it primarily looks like it's going to be mist and drizzle with overnight lows above freezing, which is important. 34 tonight, the overnight low for Oklahoma City. Wind chills tonight will dip into the 20s, so it is going to be a cold start for your early Wednesday. And then for tonight, we will once again see some dense fog here across central Oklahoma. So it is going to be another foggy start as you're heading out the door for your early Wednesday. For that seven day forecast, today will be cloudy. We'll see on again, off again rain chances primarily during this afternoon and early this evening. Winds today will be a little bit breezy and highs today will make it to the low 40s here for your afternoon. And then after that, I'll be tracking more rainfall chances tomorrow and then a break in the rainfall with highs in the 50s on Thursday. Another front on Friday will bring us more rain and some more mild conditions, but the good news is after the rain clears on Saturday morning, the weekend looking pretty nice in Kent. Speaking of looking nice next week, we could see highs back in the 60s, maybe even some mid 60s. So that fall that I'm tracking right now, it's going to get even better as we head into next week. Sure, something to look forward to it after what we've been through. It definitely is. And by cow. the way, the beginning of that seven day plus four more, that's already going to be February. Golly, it's moving along quick. Yes, it is. All right, thank you.